All right, so now we're looking at combining our index laws to simplify an expression. Just watch me how we go through it. So say we have this kind of equation. So 4x to the power of 8 times 3x to the power of 5, 2x to the power of 4 um, times binding with brackets, x3 to the power of 3. Okay, so one step at a time, people. So first what I want you to do is I want you to answer... So pretend that there wasn't, that there's just the top there, 4x to the power of 8 times 3x to the power of 2. So I times my 4 and my 3 and I get 12. And I add my 8 and my 5 and I get 13. So I've simplified that. Let's simplify this one as much as we can. So we've got 2x to the power of 4 times x3 to the power of 3. So let's do that. So we go 3 times 3 gives us x to the power of 9. Our next line, we're obviously going to keep out what we've already got there. And then we're going to say um, 2x4 times x to the power of 9. We add our indices. We times our x's. So we've got still okay, 2x4 plus 9 gives us 13. Okay, so what we've done is we've worked out each line. Right, now we can actually look at the division part of it. So we know that um, 2 goes into 12 six times. And 13 take 13 gives us 0. So here we've got 6, 6x to the power of 0. What does that actually mean? That means that we are going to multiply, because the x is to the power of 0, that becomes 1. So we're actually going to go 6 times 1, and our answer then is obviously 6. So 6 to the power of 0 on its own would be 1. But 6x to the power of 0 means that x is becomes 1, and 6 times 1 is 6. Go ahead and try some of these.